everybody. Hope you're having a good weekend. I've had these earphones for a long time and I just haven't used them so I thought I'd give them a try today doing this video and see how that helps with the sound. Um, yesterday I went to Home Goods and I'm going to show you some of the things that I got. Um, I mentioned the reason for my main reason for my visit was to get this gum, pure gum. And because it's aspartame free, aspartame gives me headaches. It's also not healthy. It's not a healthy product. And this also has xylitol. hundred percent xylitol which is good for your teeth it's $3.99 at least at home goods for 72 pieces I love this gum if you haven't tried it I really recommend it you can get it online too at like Amazon and that's usually where I have to go to get flavors I can't find in the store like chocolate mint is my favorite so anyway and give that a try and again all of these products that I'll show you if I can find websites I'll post them in the description box first item I'm going to show you actually what I want to do first I've had this for a while too and I found it the other day because when I buy stuff sometimes it gets misplaced and I forget about it this is an adult bib and I got it on Amazon and if I can find it again I will Again, put the link in the description. Anyway, I'm going to have this on here to catch any crumbs of my tasting, from my tasting. First item is Asian Tang Lime Onion Chili. Okay, it sounded delicious. I didn't look closely at the back. I just now looked at it. It's made in the USA, which is really good. No MSG, which is good and it's kosher. However, I've never seen this on a food product before. I usually see it on a lot of other material products. A warning about consuming this product can expose you to chemicals that can cause cancer and stuff. Acro acrylamide I'm going to eat this product anyway um, I'm not going to freak out about it but I can assure you I would not buy it again um, and heads up I had already planned to do a video on products on the chemicals and stuff they put in products that have the warnings that California prohibits but other states allow um, is in other other products too that you'll you'll see soon that I do videos on. I'm gonna explore, inquire about these toxic chemicals they're putting in our food and in our just material products that can kill us basically. So, without further ado rip this bag open and try this toxic product. I'm going to just chomp down on it and see what happens. If I seize out on this, uh, on this, it's not a live stream. If it was, I'd tell y'all to call 911, but hopefully I won't. Oh, uh, what a horrendous shame that it has a toxic chemical. Because the flavor is outstanding. Wow. Asian. I love Asian food. You saw my video yesterday. Went to Red Ginger. And, uh, yeah, I love Asian food. Japanese, Chinese, Thai. All of it. I don't like raw sushi or anything like that but anyway I'm getting off the subject I'm bad about that but
it has a strong flavor. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you like mild, if you don't like highly seasoned food, you will hate this. You can just see all the spice. It has a little bit of heat to it because it does have a chili pepper on it. You see down here, it's got a chili pepper. It says mild, but it's got a two pepper. It's not like real mild, so it does have a little bit of heat, but nothing unbearable, nothing unpleasant. It has the flavor along with the heat, which is a big plus. I would highly recommend it, except it has this warning. If you're not worried about that warning, try it. It's a shame. I, again, like I said, I'm going to explore why they put this mess in food. And, um, and honestly, I will probably write them a letter, a uh, email or whatever, um, inquiring about this product and why they have to put it in, feel the need. And then I will do a follow-up video if they respond and let you know what they say. I really will. That's what this channel's partly about inquiring about you know different things why are y'all trying to kill us this uh, this is not a necessity you know I, we can make chips at home without putting acrylamide in it anyway I'm getting fired up don't don't let it happen mm. maybe acrylamide is what's making this taste so good but I kind of doubt it anyway put this to the side like, Y'all, I'm sorry if y'all hate my long that I do so much chatting while I do these. Uh, but I'm, I'm sorry, but not sorry. Because I, the purpose of my channel is I want to convey what I'm thinking. I want to give a full review. Just the whole aspect of it. So you can always fast forward through the talking to get to the next product, the taste test product. So... You're not going to hurt my feelings if you want to fast forward through all the chitter chatter that I do. It's okay with me. Okay, next product is Tacolitos from El Sobroso, from, which was established in 1978 in Los Angeles. So another U.S. company. Um, bust into a bag and get your flavor on. I wish I had a cracker. I didn't realize those other chips were going to be so strong. But I am going to get a drink. Boop. Boop. <laughs> I should have tied it, but it's alright. It's catching the crumbs. It's doing its job. Mm. Mountain Dew Summer Freeze. I really am enjoying it. The more I'm drinking it, the more I like it. I did a video on it for any of y'all that didn't see it, so check it out. Next, okay, now let me crack this open. Still have a little bit of heat from that first one. Um, this doesn't say if it's mild or not. It does have, it's spicy chili and lime. I got this because I wanted to compare it to like all of the uh, taquitos. No, that's not what it's called. Or is it? I'm drawing a total blank. You all know exactly what I'm talking about. This was $3.49 at Home Goods. I tell you, a bag, a bag of chips and regular name brand stuff, they're five and six dollars a bag now. Can y'all believe it? I am just blown away at the prices these days. But let me get this out. It. It looks just like the regular name brand, really heavily coated with the spice. Now let's see. Oh yeah. Mm, definitely got the crunch. This is the one thing I don't like about it is the, you know, all the powder. I'm gonna say this doesn't have as much powder. I've had some that are just heavily coated in this spice. And um, so far, the first bite, it's not as strong with heat. 
it almost has more tortilla. You can taste the tortilla flavor in with it more than the prominent heat, and I like that. And lime. Seems like it has a little bit of a stronger lime, which I really love. I like a, a good balance of flavor. I don't like any one flavor to overtake the other. I'm going to be honest. I like this better than the name brand. Personally, I really do. It still does have the powder, but your mouth, you know, the feeling when you put it in it, it just, you know what I'm talking about. You put it in your mouth, you can tell if it's just a whole lot of powder, dusting of uh, seasoning. This is a, this is, they have it, they perfected it, I think. A light, light dusting of the seasoning, awesome crunch, perfect balance of flavor. I definitely recommend this, absolutely. One thing, if none of y'all have tried it, I adore these in my salad, if I'm going to make like a taco salad, even if you're, you know, a vegetarian, because I don't usually, I don't usually buy meat very often, like fresh meat, like ground beef and stuff, but I will make like a, a regular salad with like kidney beans and just lettuce, kidney beans, tomatoes, onion, put some salsa, sour cream in this, even with some cucumber, bell peppers, you know, that kind of stuff. And it is, it just adds so much flavor to a salad if you're wanting like a taco type salad. Just a suggestion if you hadn't thought of it. It's amazing. Okay. And I'll be going, I'm resting at home today because I wore myself out yesterday getting my nails done and going out to lunch. I know that sounds silly, but with fibromyalgia, and I think I have another disorder that I'm going to see my neurologist next week about. So I get tired way easier than everybody else. Okay. I'm going to tie this just real quick. Just, just a one little tie, not a bow. Okay. Now I did biscotti in my other, excuse me, home goods video, but I'm going to do um, this one real quick. It was on clearance, so I snatched it up. It was regular $4.99 for three and this is a chocolate it's a whole wheat whole wheat cantucci biscuits um nonalita a grandma's love feels like nobody else's again it's made in italy i love biscotti and i've been didn't have any cookies anything in the house so it's like i'm gonna grab these up so let me open this up and i'm gonna do it quickly because i got scissors handy so i'm just gonna cut this bag right over. Just enough that I can grab one out of here. Ooh. Okay. I'll try this real quick because I've already made this video way longer than I intended. And again, just a classic hard crunchy biscotti that I love so much. Let's see if it's crunchy as the other one I got. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. lovely. It's just so lovely. I like it because it doesn't look like it has like any artificial flavoring and stuff. I love these kind of biscottis that they have at those kind of places because it's from Italy and they don't put all that crazy toxic mess in your food. It's actually, I know for sure in Russia, it, it's prohibited. Um, food colorings and all that stuff. That's one thing I can say about Putin. Y'all may be mad about me but for even mentioning or saying anything about him or anything, but I'm telling you one thing is that country does absolutely prohibit the toxic kind of ingredients that America puts in their food. That's just a fact. I'm not saying I'm pro or con Russia or Putin or anything. I'm not going to express any opinions politically on this channel. I'm not going to do it. No arguing or anything like that, but, um, I, but yeah, just natural products, eggs, butter, milk, that kind of stuff. I love it. Mm. Mm. 
crunchy, but not too crunchy. It's the perfect kind of crunchy. You're not going to break a tooth on this. I mean, I've had some biscottis that you quite honestly, you really, if you had soft teeth, you would risk breaking a tooth. But I want to thank my new, excuse me, let me swallow this so I'm not so rude. I want to welcome my new subscribers. I, I so appreciate that you've decided to join this family and watch the content that I put out. Thank you. Thank you so much. And until next time, I pray that you have a blessed weekend and we'll see you next time.